Welcome back, this is Ant-Man 2050, and we're playing Shadow of War. We're gonna go ahead and try to take care of a couple of these challenges real fast. So we're gonna see if we can actually uh, win this now that we've got some more... some more experience. So we tried this a couple times and we were defeated. So we're gonna try it again, <laughs> and hopefully this time not be defeated. So we gotta do a couple of things. Big things we got to defeat. Fade invade Mordor. Violus, the virtue of justice. Sauron had betrayed me and my people, and I was determined to punish him for it. We need to blow up X number of orcs. And then we also need to take out a Drake. There was a few things we couldn't do before that we can do now. Including Shadow Dominate the Drake. We have as an additional as additional challenge. It was that we could uh, we can kill a Drake. Okay, drop. Thank you. Big thing is we only have X number of minutes to do this in. And therein lies our problem so far. Come on. We also keep getting hung up on stupid ledges. Which I'm more than certain is a bug. Hello? I was going to say I should be able to shut him out. Where are you, Orcs? I'm pretty sure we were learning last time that we could... That's definitely not what we wanted. So yeah, we're gonna fail this one again. probably just cut these so that I can get the one I actually succeed on. I have to assume that the trick is to get to all the explosives before the drakes do. The downside is I don't see a whole lot of explosives.
Right on, okay. So. So we should be able to dismount. Thank you. Boom. Okay. Here's the downside. Is it saying I still need to kill more drakes by... I still need to kill more orcs by explosion. And amount of arrows, evidently. Which is awesome. So let's see, where can we find more arrows at? That wasn't what I meant to do. Let's see, if we run up here maybe? Nice, okay. Just keep cutting these, because eventually we'll figure it out. I mean, we had more kills that time than we did before. We got ten, but we need fifteen. So I'm not sure how to get fifteen kills since. I have to think taking out Drake is the answer. But I can't tell that for sure. Okay, he's too far away for me to shadow mount. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna fall off the little piece of wood because we got burned. Come on. So now that I've got a drake, I do see that I have the option for a fireball every once in a while. Although it doesn't seem that I can just do that whenever I feel like it. Okay, come on. Let's go. Maybe someday. More, more to cut. I guess we'll try this one more time, and if it doesn't go, we'll just delete this entire video. Because we won't need it.
Yep, got uh, got burnt by standing too near or something. Okay, so I can do fire breath, but I can't do a fire ball. There we go. Finally, managed to do it. You know what? And, um, you know what? Let's just, let's retry it. We'll cut all this. And it'll be fine. Alright, so after after a little bit here Ah, oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure I figured out the trick. Oh my gosh. There we go. No? Okay. So, after you've blown up as many of these guys as you can, then you need you need to collect a drake. Oh my gosh, don't don't do this. Not this time. Thank you. I don't know what the deal is. It seems to be Callum Brimbor is the one that has the problem with it, rather than Tyen. But if I go to climb these small embankments forget it just can't do it I'll get stuck on them there we go alright alright so once you get to it and you do a fair amount of fire breathing
It'll eventually open up a chance to do a fireball. And that fireball is an explosion. Alright, and once you're done, you go ahead and do your uh, your deadly dismount, hopefully, instead of just jumping off it like an idiot. But yeah, evidently we wanna we wanna do the, the hard way. Because why not? Okay, get over get over land. Alright, and Okay. Yeah. There we go. Actually achieved it, even though that was totally not the way we wanted to do it. We did it, and it was awesome. That was a lot harder than it should have been, that's for sure. And so sadly, I feel very little um, I brought pride in it. Whoa. That's actually totally not what I wanted to do. I'd rather you didn't. I'm getting a special right now that if I can execute a target that I've frozen. There we go. I should be able to unlock the upgrade on this weapon. Yeah, these guys really just keep coming. So hopefully once we clear these guys out... Go ahead and make our uh, our next plan here, because we have a couple of different things going on. One, we should have unlocked the upgrade for the sword. Well, we executed a frozen enemy. That's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and track it just in case. Maybe we need to track it, or it won't uh, it won't count, which is ridiculous. But whatever. Let's see. So yeah, we still got a little ways to go before we can power that up at all, but we should have two skill points. And I know what I want to do with one of them. Which is I want to go ahead and upgrade my Karagor. So now I can summon a dire Karagor. Which is going to have a brand new name. So... The next one, I'm not sure what I exactly want to do with it. I've been kind of trying to decide what I wanted to do as my next upgrade. I really haven't figured it out yet. So maybe I should just hold on to it, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and get Fury. So if I'm right, that should actually uh, frighten enemies as well. 
let's go ahead and try to get to the next the next challenge we might not do it this episode but we can at least we can at least get over there I halfway wanted to take out the worm just so I could get some information, but oh hey, I was just thinking I could use something to help me get from point A to B. How about a grog? So who doesn't like having a grog? Alright, Dad says I don't need it anymore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop him here. Take care of things for me, groggy. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Worst thing that can happen is that we could fail like we did last time. And then eventually we'll figure out what they want us to do and, and we'll succeed. Oops. Hey, I like this one so far. Got a whole pack of cinnamons. And of course we have a brand new name for uh, the Dire Caragor. The Dire Caragor is going to be Coconut. So come on, coconut. I'm gonna make sure that while we're doing this, we remember to eat some of these guys. Come on. There you go. Okay. So grip one down. Group two. I'm coming. The thing is, we gotta watch what we're doing here because we are getting hit by these guys that are surrounding us here. 
It looks like our carapace has been. Our carapace did get a little lost on the way over here. that group. We got another group held up in the cave here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it before the time runs out. Especially since I keep getting kind of beaten up here with coconut. Come on. This is proven to be... Oh, no. Does it matter if I take him out myself? Oh, man. I should have ditched the uh, cinnamon a long time ago. Or uh, coconut a while ago. Didn't quite get the time before the time ran out, but you know what? That's, that's good enough for me. I can always go back later and maybe do that one a little bit better. And I've uh, figured out how to control coconut better. Because I know that... I know that you have to, uh, you, you can actually get a cool special call with the Dire Caragor where you bring other Caragor to you. So. And we got another skill point. I have no idea what to use it in, but, uh. By gum, we're gonna use it for something. Let's go ahead and add freeze to our elven light for right now all right so it's probably going to be a little bit of a shorter video but we're going to go ahead and call this one for here so this is ant-man 2015 we're playing shadow war until next time have fun play games and be aware till next time